Hello everyone and welcome. I have some bonus content here for you in case you do end up recording in person with some guest that happens to be in the same room with you at the exact same time. You're going to want to get out your Behringer USB interface. I happen to own a Scarlett USB interface. Either can suffice or you can use a USB microphone as your main source. And let's say we're ready to go. Our guest is in the room. Let's get to recording by simply opening GarageBand, which hopefully it's doing. Okay, so GarageBand has just opened up and we want to begin recording. Uh, first thing we want to do is make sure our input device is exactly what we want it to be. Usually it'll be a USB interface or your USB microphone in this case. And we want our output device to be what we're listening to everything through, which is likely going to be our headphones. So I'm using the Scarlett USB input interface, and these is my default output settings, which is basically just the headphones that I have plugged into the Mac. So now we click on choose, and now we want to make sure that our inputs are exactly what we want them to be. Normally they're just set to the default settings like that, but here we go. We have the Scarlett USB interface as my input, which is what you're hearing my microphone sound coming through, as well as our headphones built-in output. And that should just stay that way. <laughs> well, let's just hope for the best here, because usually this should change to whatever this is. But nevertheless, we want to make sure that we're using this particular selection here for the microphone audio, and we want to hit Create. And as you can see, I am Audio 1, Mic 1. And this should all be selected. Again, I wouldn't mess with any of the compressor, EQ, any of that stuff. You do have the option. I never use it, but I always like to bring it up to people just in case they're curious. You can go to voice and click on narration vocal, which is probably the closest thing you'll get to sounding like NPR or uh, any sort of overdubbing or podcasting kind of quality that will automatically change all of this down here. But I don't know if you necessarily need to, you should probably just go organic and stick with what comes out of your interface in audio one. And I always like to rename this as the person that is speaking it could be the host, which is me. And now I'm going to record me speaking. Deselecting these, of course, and now let's go ahead and hit record. Oh, one other thing. Let's see where we want to go over to configure track header and hit record enable right here. Because that gives us the option to make sure we're armed and ready to go to record our first track. Hello, I am speaking into the microphone. Hopefully you can hear me. Let's give that a listen. Hello, I am speaking into the microphone. Hopefully you can hear me. And that is exactly how you record using one microphone. So you can go ahead and move on to the next one so you know how to record in case a guest is with you as well. See you there.